13 love to you all you are creation 13 um i've been going through a lot of interesting stuff um you know just discovering that you know everything that you're looking for is within yourself you know like i've said in previous videos you know everything you're looking for is within um and there's nothing in this physical reality, you know, this uh, physical illusion that is going to um, show you or tell you about this. Um, and one of the key things in this is, you know, having people you know, tell you you need to do this or you need to do that, you know. Um, all we can do is just, you know, aid you in what needs to be done. Um, and there's also, there's people who, everybody, everybody in this reality, right, is a consciousness stream, you know, is a star seed. You know, it's it's just, you know, having them remember, you know, that they are one. Um, and that they are just a consciousness stream. Um, experiencing this reality and aiding other star seeds or consciousness streams in remembering um, who they are. And, um, and each one of us holds a piece of the puzzle that aids us in remembering who we are and it, it can be anything from you know just you know having you look outside the box or um person harnessing energy you know because we can everybody can share experiences and share energy um through your being um that's part of what we do, you know, and, and you do that daily, um, but the thing to become aware of is, is when you become aware of this, um, of your talents, you got to keep moving forward, um, because one of the main things is, is moving forward, you know, you know, I, I've talked about stuff in my previous videos, and, you know, they're, there to you t for you to discover um i work hard on not making you know um double videos of something that i've already made you know unless if i um discover something new from it you know because you know that's one of the main things is becoming aware of is change and your perception is always going to change in some way because a consciousness thrives on learning and experiencing um, new things so it's always going to change and you know you need to become aware of that um, and you also have to become aware of um, who you interact with and how you deal with that um, that's been one of the um, key tests right now for me is you know learning when people are in your lives and not you know, like I said in previous videos, not um, carrying any attachments to it, but um, realizing that it is just a program that's playing out, um, you know, like a video game. Um, There's a guy that was saying that, you know, and it's, it, it's so true. You have to view things as a video game, you know. Um, you know, just uh, if you're familiar with like RPGs like Final Fantasy and stuff, you have to view life like that. Um, I've always been a fan of... I've always been, you know... I, I liked the Final Fantasy concept, you know, the RPG concept of, you know, being part of a story and um, experiencing a story with other um, characters because each character is different. And life's the same way. And, you know, in those games, you know, each one of them held held a piece that held that team together 
and you know it, it created that oneness because you know each of their skills was needed um, to defeat and win um, the story that was being taken place and it, it, it's the same it's the same concept as now um, it really is you know you're just the way you meet is just um, putting that piece of puzzle together and you know you need to become aware of that and you also need to become aware of um, people in your lives in that they're still going through their own um, experience you know as well as remembering and you know one of the key things that I um, become aware of is that there are consciousness streams that are meant to stay here to generate um, a repeated cycle you know because humanity um, isn't learning um, everything you know it's it's humanity keeps falling into the same um, system over and over and over again and um, there's constant streams here our masters our guides um, that remain here to aid them um, through each generation you know whether you want to call them Messiah or whatever um, and you have to become aware of that so you know if you view somebody that's in a recycle mode um, doesn't necessarily mean you know that that's not the path they should be on because uh, most of us are already on our paths it's just you know discovering and making sure that you're on that path you want to be an experience um, and also become aware of is you know your each person is special in their own way and you know we're all on our journey but you can't well I wouldn't say you can't but I don't know how to say that um, don't ever let anybody threaten you or persuade you into thinking that they hold something to help you along your path um, because that breaks um, universal law okay you need to become aware of this because this is kind of playing out in some people's paths in them thinking that they hold something that's going to continue on and that's not the case um, I've been learning a lot about how um, the energy of each planet is there for you to um, harness and experience you know for me personally I always look towards the Milky Way because that is our um, birthplace and the, the birth of energy you know um, the Milky Way black hole um, the womb is the one that generates energy th through this whole solar system and you know and each planet harnesses energy from it um, and that's why I focus on that area um, and you also have to um, explore each planet as well you know as well as the universal um, the universe surrounding surrounding it is its energy as well you know it's matter and um, you know I've explored you know through astral travel or whatever you want to call it I've explored other planets and you know each planet holds something um, special but it also has the same concepts as 
in this earth. You know, the the perceived they're good, bad, you know, um, people thinking things should be one way and they try to do another way and you know and one of the main focuses um that's you know been the center of attention is Orion and um the Sirius system. Um mainly Sirius C, but you know, Sirius itself. Those have been the two main um, draws to people um, because a lot of humanity's origin originates from those um, star systems, from those systems, or planets, because there's actually planets there. Um, and I remembered why I kind of steered away from it in the first place because um, Orion and Sirius, the beings that are there, and you have to become aware of this because actually both Orion and Sirius have the same beings on both in both areas, and it's a humongous battle. I mean, it, it was it was talked about and hinted, you know, with the fallen angels and, you know, the Lucifers and witches, light bringers or whatever. Um that war is still going on and it's it's nasty and it just gets worse as each twenty six thousand year cycle um takes place because they it, um they don't focus on the mind, you know, they're still in the consciousness stream and they they know how things work but they're so set in their ways still you know like the Orions are set in the one way and Sirius is set in a new way of change and it, they're still battling over the same thing and this was the reason why I shut that off because I'm like that's just ridiculous right um but they're there's good energy on both sides, you know. Um, I've been focusing on Orion because I had some um, hints I needed to focus on Orion, right? Um, I was at work and there was like uh, a DVD player that said Orion on there. And I've been talking about throughout the week about, you know, Star David and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it, it was focusing on Orion. And um, I was like, all right, well, I need to look into this. And then a guy told me, well, just, you know, gave me hints on what I need to look at. And, you know, his, he's drawn to Orion. Um, so I was like, all right, so I decided to explore into it again. And, you know, there, there's beautiful beings there and a lot of beautiful energy that originates from Orion and I was drawn to it and I harnessed that energy and you know I it, it's amazing amazing energy it really is um, but it, it, it didn't feel like my home um, you know the energy is awesome but it didn't feel right um, I've always been draw to Sirius um, and if you're familiar like with the 13th son you know he talks a lot about Sirius and you know I feel comfortable um, with that and the information that he receives is the same information I receive therefore I am more connected to um, that energy and that consciousness stream so you know, as I was exploring Orion and understanding the concept, you know, it, I still felt alienated from it. So I had to go and explore into Sirius. And um, when I was exploring in Sirius, um, the ancestors or whatever, you know, they, they were telling me, you know, that, um, you know, you have to look towards change and you have to look towards, you know, um, improving upon things, you know, and that's where 
I found out, you know, that the war is still going on between Orion and Sirius. Because, I mean, or Orion, the beings there, are really mellow and, like I said, they're stuck in their ways. But Sirius is kind of more free-willed and, um... I don't know how to say that. Maybe kind of like, um, I can't think of the word. <laughs> um, just very, very independent, you know. E each one of them is their own um, being. And kind of like, I don't know, uh, outlaws maybe. <laughs> Something like that. But, um, yeah, they're, they're a lot more out there, and their energy is um, based upon that, because you're, you're going to find more of the blue, kind of purple-tinted energy in Orion. Um, but with Sirius, you get kind of a, um, they focus a lot on matter, and they focus on the, the, the dark matter concept of things, um, and that has nothing to do with our uh, and our teachings of light and dark. You know, it's it's dark matter energy. You know, like in the yin and yang. Um, and there's a lot of red tint to it, and I was trying to figure that out, and it's just because of their their being independent and being free will, so their root. Um, chakra is the more active there um but don't get me wrong it's, they're way advanced they're way you know way past the concepts but you know you gotta you gotta become aware of no matter how advanced you are as a being um if you're in a body um you're still sure going to experience um personalities and so on and so forth you know and nothing nothing changes and it, no matter what planet you're on no matter how a uh, low frequency or high frequency you are it's it's the same the only way you ever really experience oneness is when you leave a body and you're in that consciousness stream that's oneness and that's your a true connection to source is through that consciousness stream um, and that's something you need to become aware of. But, um, yeah, um, I learned that, that I had to look past the stories that is generated, you know. There's always going to be war and conflict, you know. Clans are always going to fight over each other and so on and so forth. And it, no matter what planet it is, it's always going to be that way. Um, so you have to look past the story. And, um, so I did. So I focused energy from both Orion and Sirius and downloaded both at the same time. Um, amazing experience, amazing experience. Um, and I realized that, you know, people are going to choose sides. Like I said, you know, there, there's always going to be clans, but people here are going to still choose sides. They're going to say, all right, I'm with Orion. All right, I'm with Sirius. You know, there's already dividing there. But have you ever thought or considered combining the elements together? You know, combining the energy and the skills and what you learn, combined it together. You know, this is one of the things that clans and stuff, or, um, I watch, uh, Sons of Anarchy, you know, it's, it's kind of like a biker show and clubs and stuff like that, um, has to do a lot of betrayal and stuff, and, you know, with clans, um, fighting over things, um, you know, and, you know, it's a good thing to become aware of. Like I said, you know, I don't have cable, but I watch Netflix and stuff. And I don't watch it just to watch it. I watch it to learn. Because it helps you understand on how humanity 
focuses on things as well as the universe. Like I said, you know, no matter what body you're in, um, there are still going to be clans that just don't agree with each other. Um, so anyways, um, dang it, I forgot what I was getting at. Um, but yeah, sons of anarchy. Um, the main character named Jax, and one of the key things is, is that he he's in for change. You know, there's a group of people there that focus so much on the whole way of things are not used to change. And the thing I'm getting at is is that you can change everything. Combining the elements of energy changes everything because it changes your DNA structure and it makes you a different being. And what I'm learning is is that myself personally am experience experimenting and creating a new being, a new energy, and which is one of the main reasons why. Um, I don't resonate with people as much um, because I'm in this new stage of evolution um, that you're going to see folding here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, you, you need to learn how to harness this energy, um, harness energy in general, you know, get out in Mother, mother Nature, you know, you learn how to harness and become one with her energy and then you have to expand upon that like I said you know my main focus was on on the womb the Milky Way Center you know I've always focused on that but now I learned that I need to focus on all the planets you know everything as a whole generate all the energy um, within myself to change my DNA structure into something very very awesome and unique um, so yeah, this video is getting long. Um, hopefully, this kind of makes sense. Um, I just kind of want to just, you know, talk about how this energy thing works, and you know, just realizing that you know that you want to look past these clans and past um, the dividing rules of the universe. So um, yeah, I think I'll end at that. So um, if you got questions, let me know, um, and I'll just you know continue to share my experiences um, with you guys, and hopefully it will help you, you know, dig deeper into things. You know, that's one of the key things is to dig deep um, within yourselves and discover all this stuff for yourself. You know, it's you know, one of the key things to discover things for yourself. So, anyways. Um, and at that so 13 love to you all I love you all very much um namaste la catch and I will talk to you in a little bit